So in this segment, we're going to be discussing this kind of conservative um, MP trying to argue um, that, you know, things are, are doing really well and um, the Tories have kind of got through the situation. Well, I, d I don't know. I've used that word twice there, but I, I don't know what they're trying to argue here. It doesn't make any sense. I actually think the Conservatives have steered us through an amazingly stable time given what we have had to face. And it, despite all of that, uh, we've supported society absolutely rightly so. You didn't support, um, what was it called, the three million? Um, you didn't support them. I mean, you supported workers, to be fair. The business support was a bit meh. And the amount of fraud you guys allowed on your watch was tremendous. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know about support. I think you wasted a lot of taxpayers' money, to be honest. People that need to be supported have had the uh, the three the, the, the three tranches, or they'll get the final one soon, of the uh, help and support with their energy costs. But again, you know, the energy costs went up way higher than the kind of financial support the Tory party gave and you know they gave a load of money to the energy companies in in, in the way of the energy price cap um so again i'm just not seeing it and they didn't do any win like proper windfall taxes either so the energy companies really made off like bandits during this whole thing we've had uh we've had inflation halved that's something we pro again it didn't it didn't halve just the rate of inflation went down because it, it that's how it works it won't keep going up consistently like that especially given the numbers that we saw so again that's just nonsense and the fact that the interviewer gets lets her get away with it is kind of tragic promise to do and we have managed to do that whilst the economy is actually growing that's not even true either if we look at this right the um, uk's economy shrank by 0 0.3 percent month on month in october with contractions expected across all three main sectors so it's it's not it's not doing good like the the economy is is i think shrinking or being stagnant so this argument that they're growing the economy is n nothing is complete bogus and uh, there were oh. predictions that we were going to have a recession. We haven't had a recession. And we are the party of stability, of... Off How many prime ministers we had in the last couple of years? What's been stable about uh, Brexit or anything that you guys have done? There's been no stability. You're about as strong as stable as Theresa May's campaign in 2017. Opportunity. Uh, and hang on, hang on a here, second. Uh, look, look, I'm not trying to be area. facetious. I'm, well, I'm genuinely I'm sorry, not trying to be facetious. We, we, but I, I, do you I, honestly say you think it's all going brilliantly? No, but what I would say <laughs> is the other parties, it's very, very easy for them to sit here and attack. But I don't see any plans coming out of the Labour Party. They've got, they're all over the place in terms of saying they're going to cut taxes, they're going to borrow £28 billion. Pounds. I haven't described okay. to anybody how they're going to pay for any of that. We don't hear anything at all from them. It's one of the reasons why the La Labour Party have dropped that pledge of... Um, Borrowing to invest twenty eight billion pounds, which I, I just don't get. If you why make that pledge in the first place? It doesn't it doesn't make sense, um, especially given they they apple crumbled on it so quick. Liberal okay, because they let's swing see. let's hear. so often between their differences of opinion. We don't really know what they stand for. Okay, well let's let's give them a chance. Darren, come back to that. Do you know we hear this all the time, including from Rishi Sunak in the House of Commons. He stands up and says, "Isn't everything wonderful? What's everyone moaning about?" Um, and, and then and then fails to recognise the huge problems that have been created. And we heard it again in Prime Minister's questions this week. The economy is growing. It's not. The data from the Office of Budget Responsibility, the data from the Bank of England, the projections around the autumn statement a couple of weeks ago, the economy is flatlining. If it's growing at kind of 0.1 per cent, it's celebrated by the, by the Conservatives. That is not fixing the broken fundamentals in our economy, which is why Labour has a plan absolutely focused on getting growth back into the economy. So all of those corrections, I think he offered, that should have been done by the host, really. Um, you know, I think the host did a poor job. You can't just let a load of politicians just talk endlessly um, because they're just going to just lie. That's what they do. Um, you know, this guy talking about Labour's plan, like, bro, like, I, I have no idea what Labour's plans are, I'll be honest. Um, I, I see endless contradictions there, and you give the Tories an easy attack line of, you don't know what you're doing. With a whole host of detail that's probably much longer than we have time for on this program, but I'm happy to go into it about how we can start to turn this country around. But our growth plan, you know, like oh, you know, it's so detailed and so precise that I can't go into details right now. I'm happy to, but I can't do it right now. And that's just embarrassing, bro. Just just state a couple of them. That's all you had to do. And's already in operation, and you can see yeah, it's actually growing. here at Port the and down. Is not growing. This... Which is true. The economy is not growing, but I think you know, um, Labour do need to be careful of constant contradictions in their policy statements. Um, I think that's why they're trying to tone things down now and, you know, like West Street said, manage expectations. Um, but I think unless you get everyone on the same page about your specific policies and why you're doing what you're doing, it looks stupid. Um, you know, arguing about the Liz Trust budget, about why you've cut down the uh, borrowing pledges, I, I think that's going to start wearing thin by the time of the election. Um, 
because as people pointed out when you're in uh, when you're in government you have choices and i don't think the Labour party are going to make the best choices um is it going to be better than this lot sure but you know there, there are a lot of people saying you know except you know expect uh ex you know to accept um below su uh, you know substandard politicians which you know i kind of refuse to do you know we deserve better i'll be honest um so i don't think his answers were the best um darren jones is but that tory mp rebecca pow pow um, that was that was embarrassing and just full of factual mistakes, which I think the host definitely, definitely should have pulled up on. And that's why I think a lot of these panel shows don't work because you have hosts that are incredibly timid who don't do their job and just see their job as facilitating a debate rather than actually moderating it properly with facts and evidence. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.